Hi guys, this is Des. Thanks for joining me. As you can tell from the title, I'm going to be doing another red lip tutorial. Now I know the tube is flooded with how to get the best red lip, how to make a full red lip, what's the best red lip to color to get. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of expand upon the videos that's already on the tube. And I wanted to help you guys choose not necessarily which color is best for you, but when you purchase a red color and you find it's not working, I want you guys to kind of do something else, kind of tweak it a little bit and see if it works for you. So today I have on a red lip and I'm going to move in a little bit guys and then I'm going to leave it right where I place it. Okay. This color I'm wearing on my lip today is Ruby Woo and that's by MAC. And this is it right here. And Ruby Woo is a matte red. It's very matte and very drying. And at first when I got this, I didn't like it because it just didn't provide maybe the luster that I look for when I buy lipsticks. I love the color, but the dryness was a little too much for me. So what I decided to do was kind of tweak it a little bit and by tweaking this ruby wool, what happened was I changed the color just slightly. And I'm going to show you what I mean. Here on my hand, this is ruby wool. And you can see how matte and dry it is. And now here it is again with a little bit of gloss over top, a clear gloss. And look at the color change. And I actually like ruby wool this way with the gloss. Just tweaked it just a little bit and so now my lipstick that I bought that I didn't like because it just was so drying and so matte looking, I can wear it now and I wear it with the lip gloss. I'm going to put some lip gloss on for you just to, guys, to give you guys an idea of the color change. And it's a slight color change, it's not a big color change. I'm going to use my, um, this is not a lip brush guys, I can't find my lip brush. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be using this clear gloss. This is by Milani. It's just a clear gloss. And I'm going to put a little bit and just a little bit of gloss will do the trick. And now it's it's pretty. It's actually glowy. It looks it looks moist. And your lips look really inviting when they look moist. I really like Ruby Wool a lot as long as I have a little clear gloss on top. So, and guys, this tube of clear lip gloss by Milani, this was like, I think, $2.99, $2.49. I don't remember, but it was a really good buy, and I've had this such a long time. I'm going to clean this off, and I'm going to tell you about some lower priced red lip products that you can use that I really like a lot and I recommend them. That's the one thing about red lip products. It can be really stained. It just really stains the lip. Okay, the next red lip product I'm going to show you is by Jordana. This is Jordana. Yes, and it's called In Color and it's called Pretty Shine. And this was about a couple of dollars. It was really inexpensive, guys, but look at this color. Now, the thing I like about this, it's in a tube like this, like lip gloss, and it really looks like lip gloss coming out. But when you apply this, this has so much saturated color on your lip, and it's really pretty, and it has a nice, like a pearl essence to it. And it's so pretty. If you want, you can definitely use a lip liner with your lips, lip glosses, lipsticks. This color is number 09 and it's called Gorgeous. And this is really, I mean, this is really gorgeous. My next lip product, this is also, this is by Wet n Wild. 
And this color is called, I'm just going to tell you guys the numbers. The number is 949. And this is a very sheer color, red lip, but it's a gloss. And so when you're trying to achieve your favorite red lip, you don't have to, you don't have to always have a lipstick. You can use a, a lip gloss. And I'm going to show you another one that's really interesting. So I'm, this is the tube it comes in. And what you do, guys, you squeeze it, and it comes up straight up through the tube, just like that. And that's how it comes out. You just squeeze it gently. I'm not going to use the I'm not going to use the container because I really don't like this container. Uh, this plastic is very hard here, and I just it doesn't apply the product very smoothly. I will use a lip brush to put it on. And this has a nice peppermint uh, flavor to it, and it has a soft peppermint tingle to it. And as you guys can see, this delivers a lot of color. This is really nice. I like this a lot. And I, if I'm not mistaken, this was, I think, a couple of dollars in the store. Just under $3 again. Very nice. And it has a slight sweet flavor to it. It tastes like peppermint. And this is really nice. And you can get a nice red lip. It's not a lipstick. It's not heavy. It's not dry. It's just really nice. It's glossy. And it makes your lips feel really smooth. My next lip product, and it's probably my favorite, is a not a lipstick or a lip gloss. It's a lip balm. It's an herbal lip balm, and it's by Palladio. And this color is called Rosy. And this is my all-time favorite red lip. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of my MAC pencil in burgundy. I'm going to use this to line my lips and then I'm going to show you my favorite red lip. I like best about this herbal tinted lip balm is that it really really moisturizes the lip and it keeps your lips from being chapped if you especially if you if your lips tend to chap and you need a moisturizer this is going to work really well um, and it lasts so long it'll last for hours enough color so that you can have a lovely red lip Look at that. And guys, this color, in case I didn't mention it, and I don't think I did, this color is called Rosy. And it's really pretty. And it's a pretty red. And your lips are just so soft. And I love the way it looks with the Burgundy Lip Pencil by MAC. It's just a nice anchor for this color. As a matter of fact, this Burgundy Pencil is a nice anchor for all your reds I think um, depending on your skin tone if you're my complexion and darker you definitely can wear this as your lip pencil or this is the color right here if you like fill in your lip with this with this pencil and then just apply some clear lip gloss over top but whichever red you use you definitely should enjoy wearing the red. You should work it to own remove it. the lipstick from the inner portion of your mouth. You may not want to insert your finger in your mouth. Personally, I don't think that's the most sanitary thing to do. But the next best thing you can do is to take a piece of tissue and just blot your lips. And just simply do like this. And there's the lipstick. That's the same lipstick that would have been on your finger when you inserted it in your mouth. It's right here. And I promise you, you won't get lipstick on your teeth. So that's it for the red lip. 
help red lip look let me know what you think if you have a favorite red lipstick or your girlfriend has a favorite red lipstick and you want to share the name of it with us and you want to tell us about how you tweak your your lip colors please please leave the the information on the comment wall so that we can all read it and maybe I'll do some more shopping for red lipstick, red lip glosses, red whatever. Take care and be well and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.